回、工場工事学校、法務用運転編北海、不要事、法務用参謀、結婚服、少女。Beginning of the service, so we will have the Zen, Zen meditation for one minute. Please put your hands together in g a s h o and bow. Thank you very much. Next, Sampai. Page seventeen, Zandana t i s h a r a n
space 245 8 fold half The Buddha Dharma is the realization within one's deepest consciousness of the one oneness of all life. It is seen into one's own nature. It is a way of the attainment itself. First, right view. We will strive to see things as they are, keep ourselves free from prejudice and delusion and comprehend aright the true nature of life. Second, right intention. We will be aware of our thoughts because our words and our actions arise from our thoughts. We will cultivate the intention to bring happiness to all. Third, right speech. <coughs> we will not indulge in the pointless, foolish thought but instead speak kindly and courteously to all. First, right action. We will behave in ways that are peaceful, benevolent, compassionate, and conducive to happiness. Fifth, right livelihood. We will earn our living in a way that is honest and also beneficial to others. Six, right effort. We will direct our efforts to the overcoming of ignorance and unwholesome desires. Seven, right mindfulness. We will keep our attention focused on a present moment. Eight, right concentration. We will practice our meditation wholeheartedly. Next, Metta Havana, uh, page 252, 252, Metta Havana. Birth of loving kindness. We surround all beings with infinite love and compassion. To those in suffering and sorrow, to those in doubt and ignorance, to all who are striving to attain truth, and to all who are suffering. So, aloha everyone. Thank you for tuning in today to Thai Shoji Sunday School Service. I'd like to talk about how Buddhism helps us in our daily lives. There are many ways that Buddha's teachings helps us. The last time I gave a talk, at the end of the talk, I mentioned that my teacher was a Zen master. He was a master because he was a master of himself. And he had a lot of self-control. I lived at the center for five years, and I saw him under many circumstances. I've been a Buddhist now for almost 50 years. I've traveled some in Buddhist Asia, and I've known many monks, nuns, and ministers. And they all seem to have some level of self-control. You may have noticed that yourselves, because our Soto Zen ministers are like that. Why do you think that is? Why do you think that is? That these uh, ministers and nuns have self-control. Well, I believe it's because they practice Buddhism a little more than most people. In our Dhammapada, we have many verses that talk about self-control, self-understanding, 
and to conquer oneself. I don't have time to read them today, but they, we have the Dhammapada in the back of our green book, and also we have the Dhammapada here in our library, plus you can find it online, and you'll find many of the sayings that are valuable. We, we know how self-control can help us because in our lives we have all said things that we wish we had not said and we have all done things that we wish we hadn't have done. And perhaps if we had more self-control these things wouldn't bother us. So it's easy to see in this manner how self-control can help us a lot. But there are many ways it, that it, it helps us. So I'm going to tell a story now. Years ago, I lived in Kona. I lived in North Kona above by Matsuyama store. And I had a real nice motorcycle and I used to drive back and forth to Waimea. And one day on my way back, about three quarters of the way, the road turns to the left and it goes down a steep hill and there's a really sharp curve at the bottom and then the road goes back up towards Kailu. And there's a pu'u there, we've all seen that pu'u. Well one day I took the road, I was going a little bit fast around that corner. And for those who do not know about motorcycles, when a motorcycle gets over 10 miles an hour, you don't steer it with the bars. You lean it over. If you lean to the right, the motorcycle goes to the right. If you lean to the left, it goes to the left. Well, I was leaning around this curve as much as maximum as I could, and I started drifting out into the other lane. And I thought, it's OK. I'll just drift out into this other lane, and then I'll pull myself back in. But when I looked down the road, there was another car coming. So I couldn't do that. So I needed to turn the bike even further than I'd ever moved before. I'd never had it over that far. And right to my right was the pavement was going by at 60 miles an hour. And my body did not want to get closer to that pavement. Your body intrinsically knows things, just like fire. Your body doesn't go into the fire, it goes away from the fire. And my body knew that this pavement going by at 60 miles an hour was dangerous and it, had, it didn't want to get further to closer to the pavement. So I had to overcome the, the, the wants of my body to turn it over. And also, I'd never had the bike turned over that far before. I didn't know if it was going to hold on to the pavement or not. Well, luckily, I was able to overcome my body, <coughs> turn the bike a little bit more, and get back into my own lane just before the car came. So that's a, an example of another way where self-control helps us out. And I would like to say that the Buddhist practice is not just for monks and nuns and ministers. The Buddhist teachings are for everybody. We can all practice the Buddhist teachings. And what is the value of these Buddhist teachings? What do the Buddhist teachings do for us? They will help us have a peaceful and happy life. That's what they do. Thank you.
三杯。Labor Day, a happy Labor Day weekend. Aloha, mahalo.